Hey, here we are. Cold. I thought it was supposed to be warm in Florida. But it's not. It's cold. I had to come over here to the church this morning. The heat is not on. It's warm in the house. And we only live 1.3 miles away from here. But our house is full of people right now. We have company. And they're all sleeping. So I didn't want to make a lot of noise and get excited about bringing this message to you and waking everybody up. Hey, I want to talk to you today about breaking the generational curse of poverty. Poverty. So many people call me and they say, Pastor Jim, I just, I feel like like there is something blocking my success. And I say, chances are there is. There is something blocking your success. A generational curse. A generational curse. <clears throat> now, you know I talk a lot about this. I talk a lot about the devil. I talk a lot about curses generational curses, uh, spirits of infirmity, spirits of oppression, spirits of fear. The Bible has, has a lot to say about spirits, good and bad. There are good spirits. There's good spirits. The, the, the Holy Spirit, oh my goodness, is so wonderful. It's just the Holy Spirit is wonderful beyond comprehension. Beyond anything I can even explain to you, the Holy Spirit is so wonderful. So wonderful. Our teacher, our comforter, the power that comes with the Holy Spirit. The power to heal, the power to bless, the power to save, the power to prosper. The spirit of wisdom. You'll never make a bad decision if you have the spirit of wisdom. Amen. Spirit of wisdom. In her right hand is long life. In her left hand, riches and honor. I mean, the spirit of wisdom is wonderful. But there are evil spirits also. Spirits of poverty. Generational spirits. There, there's all kinds, of, all kinds of things going on. And Jesus taught us about this. The Bible teaches us every, everything you will need to know about curses and spirits. It's all in the Bible. And it's operating in the lives of people right now. <clears throat> it's like I always say, people don't know what they don't know. And many times, sickness and poverty or lack or, or, or people not being successful is caused by an evil spirit. I want to show you this. I want to show you this in Deuteronomy <clears throat> chapter 28, verse 29. Now this is the curse of the law. It says, And thou shalt grope at noonday as the blind gropes in darkness, and thou shalt not prosper in thy ways. What does that mean? Not prospering in your ways. Failure, not being successful, struggling to make ends meet. How many of you are going through that? How many of you have gone through that? How many of you know people who are going through that? All the time. All the time. <clears throat> we get people like that coming into our church all the time. But they don't stay that way. Partners. People that hook up with this ministry, a lot of them are like that. They don't stay that way. Because we deal with it. <clears throat> Here's the thing. When somebody comes into our church or somebody becomes a partner with this ministry and they're struggling to, to make their bills and they're struggling to be successful and they're struggling to make ends meet, or find a place to live. 
the first thing I do, I don't deal with them. I don't say, well, let's get you on the Dave Ramsey course. Let's get you on the Crown Financial course. We need to change your financial habits. You need to change your lifestyle. You need to stop buying things you don't need with money you don't have. I don't do any of that. None. I deal not with people, but with what is causing their problem. Amen. And it is almost always a generational curse of poverty has somehow gotten into their lives over the years. Now, believe me, I know a lot about this. I was living under it for years and years and years. I'm, I'm well educated. <clears throat> a lot of people would say very successful. I've always been the boss. Any company I have ever gone to work for, I wasn't there very long and I was running the whole place. Because I'm smart. Our kids are like that too. Most of the people in my church are like that. But I couldn't, I couldn't get ahead. Every, every, every had a beautiful restaurant. I mean, people lined up at the doors to get in. We would go there to open for dinner at, at uh, 4 o'clock or 5 o'clock, depending, sometimes it changed, uh, in the evening. And I'm telling you, people would, would be lined up at the, at the door when we got there. Very successful restaurant. People didn't know I didn't make any money doing it. Every penny that came into that restaurant went right out the door. Right out the door. My whole life was that way. Until I realized, and the Lord showed me, <clears throat> that my father's finances had been cursed by his father. My grandfather cursed my father. And it was passed down to me. Now, my brother was very successful. But I struggled until I realized what the problem was. Now look at this. And thou shalt grope at noonday as the blind gropes in darkness, and thou shalt not prosper in thy ways, and thou shalt be only oppressed and spoiled forever, and nobody shall help you. It says, now when you see that word oppressed in the Bible, you're talking about the devil, folks. You're talking about a curse. And it tells us here in Deuteronomy that under the curse of the law, this stuff lasts forever. Well, the curse of poverty could have gotten into your life a thousand years ago or, or, or 1,500 years ago. Now, Christ redeemed us from the curse of the law. People say, well, Pastor Jim, Christians can't be cursed. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, yeah? You can't be cursed by anybody walking down the street. You can't even be cursed by your pastor. But you can be cursed by your parents, especially your father. Amen? Read the story of Noah. How he blessed two of his sons and cursed one. I'm telling you what, folks, that power is still there. Nothing has changed. A generational curse of poverty, if it gets into your life, it will never leave on its own. Never. And that's why so many people struggle. People say, oh, Pastor Jim, I just feel like something is blocking. It is. It's a generational curse of poverty. And it's awful. And it inhibits. It blocks. It, it just, it's, it's, like, it's like it's got a grip on your finances. It does. Amen? I'm telling you what, you can get a generational curse of poverty in your life so quick and so easy, all you have to do is say, 
Well, we never amount to anything. Our family's never been successful. We can't afford this and we can't afford that. And I never have money to pay my bills. And I'm telling you what, you just opened the door and let the devil right in with his generational curse of poverty. And believe me, he's going to stay there. He's going to stay there. But, but, the key to the whole program is found in Mark chapter 16, verse 17. Jesus said, These signs shall follow them that have faith in my name. They shall cast out devils. And I got news for you. Those same people who can cast out, out devils can also break a curse. When people come into my church and they're broke, when people, when new partners hook up with this ministry and say, well, Pastor Jim, I'm just having so much trouble with it. First thing I'm going to do is look for a generational curse of poverty. Once I break that in their lives, and if they're in my church or if they're one of my partners, I have the authority to do that. I break the generational curse of poverty in their life. I'm telling you what, within six months or a year, their whole life is different. Their whole life is different. All of a sudden, they got money to pay their bills. They got money left over. They're starting to accumulate money because the generational curse of poverty is gone. It says here in Deuteronomy 28, 29, that nobody shall help you. But I got news for you. They didn't have the name of Jesus. We do. These people, when a generational curse of poverty would get into their lives, they were stuck. We're not. We're not. God's mercy is new every morning. I'm telling you what, a generational curse of poverty is so easy for me to break. I'm not the only one that can do this. You can do it yourself if you have that kind of faith in Jesus' name. If you don't, I will help you with it. Go to my website, increasenow.com. Become a partner with this ministry. You know, help us send this message around the world. A donation of any amount makes you a partner. People donate as little as $5 and as much as you know how much. Doesn't matter. We treat everybody the same. I take little donors and make big donors out of them. And the way I do that is by increasing their finances. Is that okay? Are you okay with that? Yes. I go into churches and pastors say, well, I need, I need more, more money in my church. I need more offerings. I say, I'll get you more offerings in your church. The way I get more offerings in somebody's church is I increase the finances of the people in the church. That's how I do it. I don't tell them to give more money. I just get more money into their pockets. Then they give more. Huh? Pastors tell me when I come to their church, their, their offerings go up 35% on average. That's because I increase the finances of the people in the church 35%. And that's just for starters. Amen? Glory to God. The first thing I'm going to do, if you hook up with this ministry or you call me, is I'm going to break that spirit of poverty. I'm telling you what, once that spirit of poverty is broken, all of a sudden, things start to happen. Things start to happen. The devil is no longer standing in the middle of the road on your way to success. He's gone. And if the spirit of poverty is broken, if the devil is gone from your finances, I'm telling you what, you're going to do nothing but increase. We are living, I have, I'm telling you, people, I have never lived like I'm living right now. I have never lived this way in my entire life because I broke the spirit of poverty in my life. Amen. Glory to God. Hey, I'm out of time for today. But go to my website, increasenow.com. Hook up with this minister. Become a partner. Let me work with you. I guarantee you in six months or a year, everything will change for you. Hey, make it a great day today. Go to increasenow.com. And remember this. God's word will save your soul, heal your body, and pay your bills.